the spirit said, brooding. His word was in my bones. Forget brooding. about acquisition. Acquisition Over is tertiary. The primary the goal brooding. of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire. Be Let your mind be Holy Ghost fire. And now I am telling you that the Holy Ghost is the factor that turns ordinary men into signs and wonders. The Holy Ghost does not just overshadow men. He overshadows things like your business. Things like your family. Handkerchiefs and aprons. Is it not in your Bible? Were taken from out of the body of Paul. Handkerchiefs and aprons. The Holy Ghost overshadowed Mary. And a vision was birthed. The word became flesh by the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is not an angel. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. The Holy Spirit is not one of those deities. He is God. He was sent by Jesus. He is the believer's advantage. Even the scripture that you read was a possibility because of his presence. Man, holy men wrote as they were inspired by the Holy Ghost. To ignore the Holy Spirit is to ignore your possibility for rising, for lifting. Listen, watch this. Your Jesus, your Jesus. My God, I just saw like a dove and I'm seeing the number nine. It's coming on nine people right now. I stretch my hands. Nine. Paroske Pariketa. Help them please. In the name that is above all names. I bring you the ministry of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus transforming you turning you to a sign and a wonder listen your Jesus walked under a close heaven for 30 years even though he was the word incarnate the father never uttered a word because he had not received the ministry of the Holy Ghost he was born of the spirit but that was not enough that is a kind of new birth but now he needed to receive of the spirit the bible says when he came to john john spoke rightfully so behold the lamb of god that takes away the sins of the world but then when he baptized john it's in your bible that when john came out of the waters your bible says the heavens were opened and the Holy Spirit in the similitude of a dove came and descended upon your Jesus. If Jesus needed the Holy Ghost, businessman, you need more than a proposal and an idea. Please listen to me. Politician, you need more than intelligence to just formulate policies. It was by the Spirit of God that Daniel excelled even in Babylon. I bring you the ministry of the Holy Spirit. The believer's advantage. It is a way God helps men. When God looks at a man in his lowly estate. Listen, you know, we're going to pray shortly, my God. There's such, there's such an impartation of grace. You will never be the same. Never, never be the same. I am speaking to you by the Spirit. Your life, your ministry, your family never be the same the holy spirit behind every preacher doing great things for the kingdom is the holy spirit behind every businessman doing exploits for the kingdom is the holy spirit behind every family thriving and excelling in spite of the vicissitudes of life is the holy spirit again how shall these things be seeing that you know not a man elijah's speed was sponsored by the holy ghost the bible says and the hand of the lord came upon elijah is that in your bible that means the hand of the lord can come upon you and cause you to begin to run and overtake the chariots of ahab even down to Israel. that 10 years can be put in one year by the holy ghost by the holy ghost by the holy ghost listen 
the bible is not just a book of history it's not just a book of archaeology it's not just a book of literature you can open the bible but it must be opened and the scroll must be unlocked just because your bible is open does not mean you will see it is your assignment to open the book it is his assignment to unlock the scrolls that is the only condition for your eyes to see hallelujah now the lord is that spirit he says and where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty 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 someone is a man of god here thank god for all the principles that make for excellence in ministry do not downplay them but all of them stand limiting outside of the superior authority of the holy spirit hallelujah yes sir he came upon mary and jesus arrived even elizabeth the one who prophesied to mary the bible talks about john who was filled with the holy spirit from his womb coming in the spirit and the power of elijah those of you in worship ministry let me tell you the truth no matter how artistically competent you are the life-giving factor in your singing is his presence and the power that comes from it those of you in business don't submit a piece of paper called proposal place his presence on it and submit them together place his power on it and submit them together you've been having bad reports returned to you because you've been submitting papers did your bible not say the lord walking with them the lord walking with them the lord walking with them confirming the word with signs following hallelujah you ask me the one secret behind my life i may not tell you that i have not studied i'll be lying i will not tell you that i'm not a student of history but all of those things i count but dung for the excellency of my relationship with the holy spirit it is the one secret it is the one secret help two people who begin to run now coming out they are lit by the spirit please hold them so they don't injure themselves but they are really literally going to run out help them help them just hold them so they don't injure themselves this, this is a ministry of signs and wonders there's there's nothing unscriptural in what you are watching when the holy spirit is in a place you see the bible says to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace just like you were told to jump a few times it does not make sense god uses the foolish things you see it may not make sense but this is where yielding to the ministry of the holy spirit comes in fact the bible says the spirit beareth witness with our spirits hallelujah again dr andy explained it so powerfully here with our spirit that we have become one in theology we call it the doctrine of interpenetration it's the mystery by which two entities become one that is what is adumbrated in marriage where the man and the woman become one in the spirit they are still distinct individuals but in the spirit they have become one he that is joined to christ the bible says is one spirit my time is up there are three things we're going to do very quickly within the time that i have i want to respect the time number one is that the lord wants to activate something that has been locked up within your spirit within your spirit man there is an investment of the spirit that is about to rest upon you like a hen resting upon her eggs so that it will hatch and produce that's what god wants to do hallelujah praise the name of the lord did you know that the holy spirit is the creative dimension of the godhead every time there is need for creation and the manifestation of the power of the godhead that gentleman jumping lift your hands i just saw fire coming on you and the lord is saying you are stepping into a new season in the spirit in the name of jesus christ I decree and declare let it be unto you as the lord has spoken by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ hallelujah genesis 1 and verse 1 in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth 
Verse 2 says, now the earth was dark, it was void, it was formless. It's the Greek word toku wabohu, confusion and chaos. Every time there was confusion, as we see in the Bible, it was the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of God hovered around the face of the waters. Don't discuss your confusion and tragedy and pain. Introduce him to hover over it because every time the holy ghost hovers over that unemployment over over that family issue there is about to be creation this is what the bible teaches even god did not speak till he verified the presence of the holy spirit when the holy spirit was there the bible says and god said so before you say verify that he is there it is the union of his presence and your skin that produces creation not just your speaking your speaking will be empty and barren except the holy spirit leads the way lift your hands in one minute and thank god for tonight someone is praying pray in the spirit all the experience centers those following online go ahead and pray in the spirit he press katebeke tosh kari paras kafas katebeke tosh kataba krata kaparatos katebelekos take a minute or two and invest in your destiny as you pray in the holy ghost it says but be ye beloved building up yourselves on your most holy faith pray it in the holy ghost is someone praying in the spirit he pakatosh katebrenda gaberesh Kalapa sata fraska tapa katapa ke pros ke ba shada balaka tu siata pray pray yourself in superior spiritual dimensions dimensions of power dimensions of grace dimensions of light dimensions of influence ascend realms in the spirit he said come up hither and i will show you the things that will happen afterwards Please pray. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Can I take a minute to speak over those who are trusting God? I know that you've been prayed for, but I just want to, generally speaking, speak over your life, whether it's infirmity or any situation at all that has mocked God in your life. You've taken the pain and the sorrow away. You've given me peace undeniable. There's no need to cry because you're always with me. You're my father, my everything. Help me. Oh, may my... Taking the pain and the sorrow away, you've given me peace and deny above. You're my father. Let me pray for you. The Holy Spirit is that powerful. The Holy Spirit is that powerful able to sponsor salvation even to the uttermost able to bring healing to your body able to rewrite the narrative of your life and your destiny and here at this conference we're trusting god to ascend heights in the spirit levels of grace even by the spirit zachariah said it is not by might it is not by power but it is by the spirit by the spirit by the spirit ezekiel chapter 2 from verse 1 it says son of man stand up upon your feet and it did not have that power that energy verse 2 says and the spirit entered me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet in the name of jesus the son of the living god 
I decree and declare over every ministry here represented, every business here represented, every family here represented, and every challenge here represented by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. Find rest now. Find rest now. Find rest now. Find rest now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in Genesis chapter 24 and verse 1. He says, now Abraham was old and well stricken in age. He says, and the Lord had blessed him in all things. All things. All things. Not some things. There was a man called Naaman, the captain of the Syrian army. The Bible says he was a valiant man in war. But he was leprous. In the name of Jesus everything that is antichrist everything that is anti-destiny roaming around your life i stand under the corporate anointing in agreement with every servant of god here represented and we decree and declare let it roll out of your life right now let it roll out of your life right now let it roll out of your life right now let it roll out of your life right now, right now. in the name of jesus christ forget about acquisition acquisition is tertiary the primary goal of lifting use it quickly oh fire let your mind be holy god's fire